Hello there everybody and welcome to another first generation battle against the Game Dreamer. This time we are using a format that he invented. Well, basically, you randomize three Pokemon, not fully evolved included, and then you pick three, but from the three that you actually pick, well, there are some restrictions because you can't pick some of the most used guys, so... I was lucky, I got Jinx, I got um, Electabuzz and I got uh, Slowbro, um, not Slowbro, uh, Executor. So there you have it. I ended up adding Lapras and Flareon. Flareon has growth because we also allow the tradeback moves. And of course the last one has to be Dragonite because you just gotta get yourself a Dragonite. Simple as that. But anyways, uh, let's get this battle started. Let's see how this goes. So Dreamer is gonna lead with Gengar and I'm gonna lead with Jinx. And I'm like, oh god. Let's see. Hopefully he's gonna miss his his hypnosis. Because you just know that he's gonna go for hypnosis. Just, uh, I don't want to take the sleep on any of my other guys. But maybe I should have switched into Executor. But I wanted to keep it. Because Executor can be useful. So I was like, Jinx, you have to play the Piccolo game. And dodge whatever. So let's see. And uh, Dreamer is also thinking about it. He's like, oh, I'm thinking here. So let's see. And he ended up missing. His hypnosis, and I ended up hitting the lovely kiss. The world backwards, oh my goodness. So now I'm in a good position, I finally put this guy to sleep, and now I'm gonna go for a psychic. He ended up going into his Kadabra, which is really interesting, so he's gonna be able to take my psychic really well. I don't wanna get paralyzed, so I'm gonna switch into my Executor. Executor doesn't mind being paralyzed whatsoever. And um, I'm, I kinda wanna predict him to go away and go for stun spore. he could also go back into his Gengar so I really don't know what I, what I can do so he could go into Gengar uh, burn some sleep turns he could stay in with Kadabra but I ended up going for Psychic but he ended up just switching into his Kabuto interesting uh, Slash, crit, did decent amount Psychic did a lot because Kabuto has no special and I was like okay I wanna keep this Exeggutor kinda healthy I don't mind if Jinx gets hurt because it's frail anyways. Slash still does a lot. Because 80 base attack I believe Kabuto has. Which is absolutely insane. But there you have it. The Psychic will finish off the Kabuto. And that's that's actually great. So let's see what Dreamer wants to do now. Um, he's going to send in his Lapras. He also has a Lapras. I'm like oh this thing can be a problem. Uh, I don't want to do the matchup Lapras versus Lapras, uh, this thing beats my Flareon, this thing beats my Dragonite, this thing beats everything. It beats my Executor, it's just super effective against almost everything that I have. You just don't play Lapras, you don't you don't play games with Lapras at all. Uh, but Jinx is a pro, it's just a pro, it's not gonna hit itself in the confusion. Uh, it's gonna get that big damage with Psychic, I'm gonna try to rest, just so we can stall some more, because I can't take the special hits like really well and uh, he hasn't shown body slam yet so i don't know if he has it or not so let's see uh jinx is only frail defensively plus it can take the special hits well in gen 1 of course so let's see what dreamer wants to do in my thoughts i just want to get rid of this lapras because again it just beats everything so um i'm gonna be able to rest uh, i'm not gonna hit myself luckily there's the blizzard <clears throat> I guess he went for the safe blizzard, assuming I either stay in or or switch into whatever. Nobody wants to take a blizzard from a Lapras. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. And then he finally is going to show Body Slam. I'm like, okay. Apparently he does have Body Slam, so let's, uh, let's not take it on any of, other, any of our other Pokemon and just stay in with Jinx. It just did a lot of damage, Jinx. Like... It's still not hitting itself, and that's really good. Crit, still not enough to take down the Lapras. That's crazy. Shows you the bulk and the amazingness of Lapras. My favorite water type. There you have it. But now it's no longer a threat because, you know, it's low in health, and that's absolutely amazing. I don't know if he's going to play conservative, but since it's a slow Pokemon, I'm assuming he's just going to finish him off. But I'm just going to go for the safe Psychic, in case he has, like, a ground type or something. So, there you have it. And... Speaking of ground types, in comes the Enu for them, the Golem, and uh, damn, I'm predicting him not to go for the Earthquake right away, and he actually went for Substitute, I have never seen Substitute Golem, but there you have it, Dreamer, being spicy, 
Um, this is actually really bad, so I'm just gonna go into my exhibitor. Take the earthquake. Um, I have the natural bulk. Hopefully, I'm not gonna get credited, and so I'm just gonna be able to do things. I decided to go for stun spore. He's gonna miss his rock slide. That shaky accuracy apparently has a 90 in Gen 1, so there you go. Uh, rock slide. Uh, he's gonna head. Uh, Executor taking them like a boss, which is really good. And he's gonna miss them again. So there you go. Executor getting some luck. Well, for now at least. Uh, the special has fall uh, of this golem, so Psychic can easily take him out at the range uh, of HP he's at. He's gonna decide to stay in, and that's the end of golem. Executor doing some job. Dodging rocks like Piccolo again. And now in comes Kadabra. I'm expecting him to go back into his uh, Haunter, predicting my Psychic, but I missed. It was the correct play. It was a great move by Dreamer. I just saw it coming. <laughs> like, damn, I got fully paralyzed. That's just too bad. Luckily, he's still asleep. Uh, I went for Stun Spore just in case he switched. He switched, but I missed. And now I'm like, hmm, is he gonna stay in? Is he gonna switch out? Let's just go for the safe Psychic. Let's just do it. And that ended up being the correct play. The mind games. The mind games. And now uh, another Psychic will finish him off. He woke up, but I got fully paralyzed and this is gonna change the entire situation. The entire situation is gonna get changed because this Gengar has Confuse Ray. And you guys know how my luck is sometimes. So are we gonna be able to hit it? Are we gonna be able to finish it off? We are not, and that's... There you have it. Gengar. Being a typical Pokemon. What can I, t what can I say? <laughs> Anyways. Um, unfortunately, there's absolutely nothing asleep in my team. Uh, I'm hoping that he's gonna miss again. So I went for Psychic. Uh, he's thinking either switching out, either attacking, or either putting me to sleep. Let's see what he's gonna decide to do. Um... I don't like sleep in Gen 1. I just don't like it. It's just my opinion. Luckily he missed again. Psychic. He lived. He lived. But the special drop came a little bit too late. Unfortunate. I'm gonna switch into Booster. Because Booster isn't gonna do much against this team. So I decided to have it as a Sleep Father. And uh, I'm just gonna switch into my Lapras. And Lapras is such a boss, Lapras can fight against hacks. I believe in Lapras. Everybody should believe in Lapras. Lapras does the job every time. So he's gonna switch out into his Master Ball. He's also gonna switch. That's absolutely horrible for me because he's an electric type, obviously. He's gonna go for Thunder Wave. I'm gonna go for Confuse Ray because you just have to at this point. So you don't wanna play games with an electric type. And now I'm gonna start spamming Blizzard. He's gonna hit himself. And there's the Blizzard. Lapras is a pro, absolute beast. Blizzard cred, there you go, showing them who's the boss, and uh, since we are paralyzed, I mean, yeah, I mean, Flareon's already put to sleep, so he can't put us to sleep, so, there's the Thunderbolt, um, Lapras is just gonna finish off the Gengar, his last Pokemon is Kadabra, I was like, okay, you know what, I'm gonna sack uh, Flareon, because at this point, I just wanna use my last Pokemon, you gotta... Because you just gotta get yourself a Dragonite, and if you don't use Dragonite, well, you're, you're just weak, man. You don't know how to play this game. It doesn't matter which gen it is, you just have to get yourself a Dragonite, man. I don't expect you to understand this, I don't expect you to try hard much, but you gotta get yourself a Dragonite. Let's go! Igamuryu! It's time to go for the agility, predicting the Thunder Wave, and uh, start wrapping things up and have him in rage so we can finish off the battle with a big and massive hyper beam for the win, so that's pretty much gonna be the game. Uh, it's a really interesting format. I hope you guys found it interesting as well. Uh, thanks, Dreamer, for sharing us, sharing with us this idea. And uh, you guys already know. Get yourself a Dragonite. It's time. Igamuryu hyper beam. That's the end of the Kadabra. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a wonderful day and all day.